as promised, I am the franchise king, Joel Lababa, my little crown. And I am on Facebook Live today to talk about uh, eye cream and franchising. Now, let me start off by showing you my puffy eyes. Pretty puffy, huh? All right, well, I was at a, uh, an SEO online marketing conference in Vegas a couple months ago. It was a great conference. And there were some booths set up. And I'm cruising along the second day of the conference. And this very nice looking um, uh, young lady approached me and looked at me and said, eyes. And I said, yeah. She said, no, you're, you're puffy eyes. I have something for that. I said, awesome. So I cruise over to her booth. And she introduces me to a product called, I don't know if you can see it really well. Uh, maybe not. A uh, rough, rough Iori, uh, rough Ore. Rough, uh, anyway, that and this wonderful hypodermic uh, little thing. Um, so anyway, so here's what she did. She did one of these. Here, here, just to put it on my hand and watch. Okay, now watch. I know the franchise king is applying eye makeup, not eye makeup, eye cream. All right, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that, and then she takes out this hypodermic thing, which is not really hypodermic, but it's it's nice packaging. So she squirts a little of this on her dainty little hand. She was really cute, but hey, anyway. Um, so then I put this on one side and this, on, and, and she did this, you know, she did this, and she said, you know, give it a couple minutes, so I did. I put my glasses back on like I'm doing now. And she put up this really nice mirror and said, huh, wow. They, they kind of look like they may have like shrunk or disappeared a little bit. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so she sits me down again and she said, well, today only blah, blah, blah. You can buy this. And this, which is True For Your White Truffle Eye Serum, and True For Your, I'm sure, Roof For Your, I'm sorry, R, no, True For Your, T-R-U-F-F-O-I-R-E, all right. Um, Black Truffle Instant Repair Syringe. All right, so this is a syringe. Black, Black Truffle, okay. Anyway, so this these amazing products can be had for only, drum roll please, Four hundred dollars, right? Right, four hundred dollars. First of all, for a guy to spend this um, on anything uh, besides I, I don't know what, but anything related to the beauty industry, four hundred dollars. That's a lot of dollars. Um, and I said, no, 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 no. Um, I mean, I think my eyes look a little better, and maybe, but you know, and you're really nice, but I, I, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. But you know, thank you for your time. And I get up and I sit back down because she said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's what I can do for you. If you buy this today. Now, this will last you two years. Two years because you only apply it once a week. Yeah. The first week you apply it every other day or every day. But after that, it's only once a week. So these two wonderful products will last two years. Um, for you, since you're at this convention and this conference, only $200. 50% off. I'm like, oh, well, that, that's a good deal. But no, no, no. She said, come on, come on. You know that your eyes are puffy. You, this stuff is really good. I, I really know you'll like it. And I said, oh, da, da, da. we take credit cards. Done. Take out my Discover. I pay for the thing. $200, right? $200. I get on the bus the next day. They, were, they had a little shuttle bus between um, uh, the conference center and, and Treasure Island, where, where, uh, which was their preferred hotel. So I'm carrying this, I'm sorry, this is the same day, later that night, I'm carrying this um, True Fiori bag, very nice bag, you know, packaging's real nice. And I get on the bus, and, and I sit next to Kate, a friend of mine that I met there. Um, I, I, she wasn't a friend until I met her. Um, and, and I sit down, she said, you too, huh? Uh, what do you mean? The bag. I said, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I bought it. She said, how much did you pay? And I answered, I'm not telling. There's no way. How much did you pay? We looked at each other, and the both, like, almost the same time, we said, 200 
I said, two, okay, yeah, but it was 400, right? Oh, I know, such a deal. So she said, do you think it'll work? I said, I have no idea, but I'm gonna get bitched at when I get home. And this is ridiculous. So um, my wife and my daughter um, have given me crap like almost every week since I bought this stuff. Because they keep saying to me, hey, Joel, um, your eyes are still pretty darn puffy. All right, let's see, are they? They're, they're pretty puffy. That, that's a real good bargain, Joel. So my daughter, who is, uh, um, she's addicted to shopping, um, uh, to beauty products, uh, buying beauty products. And uh, she said, Dad, you can never, ever give me crap on the money I spent because you just got suckered for $200 for this stuff that's never going to work. What you need, my wife will say, is surgery to, you know, suck out the fat pockets. I don't want to spend like five grand on surgery. I figure, you know, 200 bucks as opposed to surgery, the sucker. The stuff doesn't work. I mean, it doesn't work. Um, now, it's supposed to be for wrinkles too, but, and I really don't have that many of those, but I mean, uh, you know, ridiculous. So um, instead of losing money gambling um, in Las Vegas, and, and I didn't really lose much money, um, I blew $200 on eye cream that doesn't work and will never work as far as I'm concerned. Are there white truffles in there? Yeah, probably. I guess there has to be. Maybe a microgram uh, in each one. Anyway, um, how does this relate to franchising? Well, it does because in franchising, if you're looking to buy a franchise, you can get suckered too. You can really get snookered into buying a franchise that sounds so good on the outside. We're opening locations all over the country. And if you buy the franchise on emotion, which is how I bought this wonderful eye cream that won't work, that will never work, uh, you are probably going to regret it. What I should have done, since the booth was going to be there the next day, was go back to my room or go to my smartphone and just Google the product and see what the reviews were like. But I didn't. My own fault. Yes. The Franchise King, even with his mighty crown, can get suckered. And I got suckered because I didn't do any research. So be careful when you're, when you're making an investment of $200 or $200,000. Do the research. Don't buy spur of the moment. And I know it's hard to buy spur of the moment with a franchise because, you know, there's a waiting period and stuff, but, you know, after you get the contract. But still, um, don't buy an emotion. Don't buy a franchise on emotion. You've got to have data and facts, and you've got to learn how to do the research. So don't be like me, right? Uh, uh, make sure that you do the research needed. Um, you know, is, is spending $200 on this stuff going to change my life? Well, I, I was hoping it would change my life. Um, they're still pretty puffy. I, I'm, I'm thinking they're pretty puffy. Uh, are they less puffy? Yeah. Uh, there seems to be a skin-colored um, additive, which maybe, since she applied it after the first thing, made it look less puffy. But I have to tell you, and I'll just only do this one more time, pretty damn puffy. So, the Franchise King is feeling puffy today. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, anyone want to buy one of these? I'll sell them cheap. I haven't used much. The two-year supply.